Sorge on course right now. You know what? We're thankful of the moments where it just dies down. Relative to the win that we had yesterday at this time, we, we feel like we've like we've, we've been dodging a bit with St. Cam. Oh, yeah. I mean, he didn't have to wait to drop in like he did in run number one. So you do see that flag moving a bit. But Sorge knows exactly what he needs to do to improve that score and move up the rankings. Expect to see some tricks here as he starts things off, flipping the ridge jump. And now this is his rhythm section. Suicide no-hander this time. Great extension and so much style fluttering over that hip. There we go, the oh, Superman yeah. on the trick jump. Good extension. Snap a photo of that Chase as down. he approaches his flip drop. He flips it again. Flip, back, oh. back. Oh, my. <laughs> he landed it. That was perfect. Okay, he's got to hold it together here, not get too excited. Flip, step down on the ski jump. And now hip flipping into this. Oh, he holds on. What a run there. He will 100% improve his score. Kurt Sorge, his first run of two was a 73.66. He's chasing an 89 to move into the top spot. He always delivers. Yeah. Sorge always <laughs> delivers. Man, that Superman, he needed something on that jump. He straight aired it. We heard him in the finish corral with Tina after run number one saying he had a mistake. That's what it was. He brushed it up. But the flip, oh, replays are going to be fun on this Yes, one. definitely. <laughs> and just like that, ask and he shall receive. Taking off on the left there, the same spot where TVS was standing, contemplating that caveman. But he chucks dust off the ridge, styling it out. Every millimeter of this course is an opportunity to get some points in one of those categories. There's a lot of fluidity here, a lot of amplitude, but also upping the ante for the trick category, the backflip knack-knack. I was wondering if he would try that in run number two. Foot goes right back to that pedal absolutely perfectly. And then he kept it going all the way down the same way he did run number one. Flipping the ski jump step down and then leaning off the side of the bike in order to connect to that hip landing off the right-hand side there. You can see no dust flying up off the back tire, meaning that he angled correctly into that thing. Oh, baby. That's, that smile doesn't lie, does it, Tina? <laughs> oh, no, that smile does not lie. Uh, you should have seen him uh, celebrate in the crowd down here as well. And Kurt, you told me after that first run, ah, it's some mistakes. You cleaned it up. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, it's so hard to judge speed coming into those big hits. You got to break just perfect for everyone, and it's super difficult. So uh, just to be able to nail all the like jumps and get everything I wanted, I couldn't be more stoked. You know, throughout your career, there's been ups, there's been downs. Uh, you've won this event multiple times. Uh, what keeps bringing you back, though? And you keep reinventing yourself. Yeah, I just want to keep progressing all the time every year. It's hard with injuries, like so many back-to-back -back injuries and uh, had some bad luck the last couple of rampages and just really happy to put together a solid run. Yeah, that was a fantastic second run. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Tina. So three-time winner, Kurt Sorge, now waits for numbers, a, a very anxious wait, as uh, it was a, a, a Herculean task. His first run was at 73.66. Could he catapult better than an 89, a big jump? He definitely improved on that run. The big question, was it enough? Just to crack into the top three, you'd have to better that 86.33 currently held by Cam Zink. What do you think, Cam? Yeah. Uh, you know what? The judges are going to take their time on this one. You're talking about Cam Zink's run. It had some seriously consequential elements to it. That steep shoot down the heart, the flat drop flip, the three drop. So it's going to be tough Here to read that one. But let's see. Is it enough? Sorge. Wow. wow. With that, an 88.33. Kurt Sorge launches into second place just behind Brandon Semenuk. Wow. 